Hi, everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk. I'm your host, Andy Asher, all about productivity, positivity, and happiness, with a few other things thrown in, including inspiration and motivation in every show, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today's inspiration and motivation fits in with a new Netflix series, FUBAR. You came alone. What was the plan? To kill all of you and then to leave. And now, with all our guns out, I'll manage. So it has all the signs of a superhero film, but stop to let this one fit into your head right now. In real life, this superhero is 75 years old. Do you feel 75? I would not know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I feel very good and I feel full of energy. Uh, but it's, I think the most important thing is to keep active and to keep the mind active. So I just, to me, Life is about living, not existing. But when Arnold started, you know, reminiscing about thoughts of running for president at one time. Do you wish you could run for president? No, no, I'm, I'm finished with that. I, I would have run if I would have been an American born in 2016. Looking way, way back when he first came to everyone's attention as a champion bodybuilder and with a hard to pronounce name, he seems so unlikely to become an international movie star and a governor. He is not slowing down any. We'll keep watching them. And on the newsstand today, this is about stars who believe in extraterrestrials. Let's hear what they have to say. Brad Pitt, he says, I like to believe there is life somewhere. To what degree? More advanced than us? Less? Who knows? I like to believe that there is. And from Steven Spielberg, he says, I believe that if any extraterrestrial civilization has journeyed all the way here, it's because of curiosity and science and is not about aggression. And finally, uh, Sigourney Weaver, I think there there is a department in our government which is exclusively dedicated to quashing reports about aliens. And that's so unfair, she poses that question. Well, next week, we're going to have another set of series of our look at the newsstand. That'll be on Friday. We'll see ya. And finally, on this episode of Let's Talk, I want to take this look back at one of my interviews. You know, people are thinking there is kind of like almost a sun setting. What in the end, like you and I, we all know real life is started around the 50. You know that, right? That is Dr. Tae Yoon Kim. She's an author, martial arts, grandmaster, motivational speaker, and successful entrepreneur. Her own life story is one of overcoming physical, mental, and cultural obstacles to achieve goals that others said just were impossible. We will visit with Dr. Kim in upcoming shows. And I want to thank you so much for supporting our show. If you liked it or you learned something new, I want to tell you three ways that you can support the show and keep Let's Talk going. Number one, get yourself subscribed. Every week I am bringing on inspirational guests who can teach or have something interesting to share. So you take a moment to hit that subscribe button. And number two, this is the really the ultimate way to support Let's Talk and it, it takes less than a minute. You can write something short and sweet like, you know, I love the show, right? It has, a, it has changed your life or maybe something you learned about it. And I am not exaggerating that I read every day, every single one, whether it's short or long, it means everything to me. And the more reviews means the higher we rank in all the algorithms, which means bigger guests. So take a minute and leave a review. And three, share the show with your friends. Just hit that share button. We live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I am eternally grateful. And thank you so much for supporting Let's Talk about productivity, positivity, and happiness.